Hi, I'm Sharon Bell. As I progress through the ABRSM Music Theory Grade 6 workbook, I now turn my attention in a lesson to look at exercise 2 of question 2. And in question 2, we are required to realise a figured bass into four-part harmony. In this particular exercise, we now look at how that works in a minor key, and so that will imply accidentals given in the figured bass and we need to look how that will work out in the four part harmony in a chorale style extract. Because we're in a minor key we're going to have to pay particular attention to the leading note and accidentals there. We're going to look out for consecutive fifths and octaves as usual. We're going to look at a passing 6-4 and a cadential 6-4 and how to realise that in all four parts, observing all the parts of four-part harmony. And we're going to look at that in terms of how to observe all of the rules of four-part harmony. The full lesson can be found on my Patreon channel if you visit patreon.com forward slash Sharon Bill and you'll find the links to that in the cards and in the description box. And everything you need to understand for this advanced level music theory, all of the points of four-part harmony and composition can be found in my Harmony and Composition textbook. And this is available on Amazon and you can find the links to that in the cards and the description box also. After this little video, sample examples of this full lesson will follow on to show you exactly how I work through every little step of this exercise. So we'll have, we'll keep the G there, G, B, and then we want to double the fifth. That's the best way to get that progression working and then that's going to stay that will be solid through the whole of the soprano line so we have the D D the F sharp and the A and then here we want a G B flat D. However, if we double the third, that will keep that st stationary, like stepwise, that's stationary. That works better. Ideally, we would have that in the soprano line. But then if I were to do that, I think that would upset the spacing because then we'd have to have something like the D here and the G here, which I don't, I don't like that, that it exceeds the spacing, so we've sort of got a bit of a naughty there, haven't we? And, uh, and so we can't have that. So let's have, what we'll have to do is have the E and double the fifth there. So instead of doubling the root, we'll double the fifth. A, C, E, E. That gets rid of that consecutive fifth between the soprano and the alto. So if I just do a quick check again, we are okay. So moving on now. So here we're coming to our cadence point and we've got a nice strong just root position chord five and then it's exactly the same chord again to chord one. We'll come to this in a moment. So, 